My name is Alex Goat. I'm an industrial designer from Melbourne, Australia, and we started uh, Reef Design Lab in 2014. You know, with the purpose of working with research institutes and to use 3D printing technology to further underwater infrastructure and the work of research. The place where we go diving at the end of the jetty, which is officially called the Blue Lagoon, is an artificially man-made reef. We started about three and a half years ago, and we've been creating a lot of reefs, a lot of objects out of limestone. Uh, and with this, we have some projects going on here in the Blue Lagoon. For example, one is the coral ropes. And over the past two and a half years, we've been nursing more than 3,000 corals. And the goal is that we collect coral fragments. They stay inside the rope for about one year. And after one year, we transplant these corals onto one of the objects and one of the man-made reefs here in the Blue Lagoon. Basically, we are trying to create protection for aquatic life, and it's been attracting a lot, a lot of special animals. So what we have been trying to achieve is building reefs, building a coral nursery station. And with the addition of Alex Goat's uh, 3D Mars project, is basically another nursery station. Basically, what we've done here is um for my graduate year at university, I designed the Mars Modular Artificial Reef Structure and we've used it here as a coral transplanting device. So we've constructed everything on the beach and transported it 100 metres to its final, uh, final dive site. And basically what we'll be doing is we'll be testing how you know, successful the structure is to use for as a coral transplanting device. Modular artificial reef structure is created starting with sketching and we 3D model it on the computer. We then 3D print one of these arms, which we take uh, ceramic molds of. We can then replicate each of these arms in ceramic really easily and affordably. Um, the ceramic is then filled with marine concrete and uh, steel rebar. Each of these individual units is made up of th six of these arms which are joined together during the concreting process. And then um, each, of this, each of the units is easily just uh, taken underwater and the whole system is built like an underwater Lego set or underwater Meccano. So the beauty of this system is that you don't require any large scale you know, cranes or barges to implement the system. It can really be built by people underwater. So it's also cool because it can be built depending on the criteria for coral transplanting. So it can be built in a sort of small, like uh, long system, or it can be built in a high bomby type system. So it really depends on the research criteria for the project as well. Now, the ceramic materials are really uh, you know, good material to use for coral transplanting. Uh, it's a completely inert material. It's used a lot in the aquarium industry. So we're really trialing this project as you know, a test to see how effective the ceramic is versus concrete for transplanting. And we'll also compare that against you know, transplanting onto steel, which has been done a lot throughout the Maldives. So really, this whole project is a large you know, experiment. Yeah, so basically we start sketching and then we go immediately into the computer and 3D model everything. From that we then 3D print out an arm which we take a ceramic mould from. Then we can replicate the ceramic really economically. From the ceramic which is then fired, we then uh, mould everything with concrete. So we reinforce the ceramic with concrete and steel so that it's not going to break underwater. And then from there, that's all done on the beach, and then we transplant into the water and build the structure underwater like a large Lego set. Yeah, I mean, I grew up in Australia, you know, by the ocean, and it's everyone's, I think, you know, if you grow up by the ocean, you're always really drawn to it, and it's, it's not hard to be inspired by the ocean. So I think that's the same sort of thing here in the Maldives. With this project, I think we really want to look at how successful coral transplanting is on this device. It's certainly, the point of this project is certainly not to just replicate the look of, of a coral, coral reef. You know, it's really to use as kind of a skeletal structure for transplanting corals. Um, you know, and I'd be really, we're really interested to see how effective the ceramic material is versus, you know, concrete. And, you know, we'll be using those results to further this sort of work in the future. And uh, what we've really done, Reef Design Lab has 
created a relationship with Summer Islands, you know, because we really want to create, you know, we really want to foster a, a culture of innovation, you know, in this country. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of young people who have been watching this project and are really excited by it and, you know, want to start doing their own things as well. We're trying to stop using plastic bottles completely as well, hoping to get it done by end of the year. We're going to stop using single-use plastic bags as well. So this is actually part of our initiative to start doing more environmentally friendly practices on the island. And it's, it's actually, from my perspective, it's not only for the guests, but also for the staff. And it's amazing to see how they are learning and they are interested and they are willing to do things now. They're taking the initiative and it's just amazing to see this. So with the project, we are going to find out if the ceramic structure of Alex is more successful. Maybe not. Our hopes and dreams are that we want to create a reef here. So for the divers here on the island, there's more to see for the snorkelers, for the life, of course. So I think with this project, we really want to like, foster a culture of innovation and, you know, experimentation, uh, you know, and research into this sort of work. I'm particularly interested in, in building and construction and looking at how, you know, we're going to build, you know, to improve the environment as well. So really living by the ocean, you know, that was a real inspiration for that connection and why I'm doing this sort of work today. I think human beings are really obsessed with building and that's like a natural, you know, sort of thing for us to do and in a lot of areas that's why we have a lot of environmental problems at the moment. But I like these sort of projects that looks at how we can take that natural instinct but, you know, turn it into a positive thing as well. The main reason is that we want to achieve more awareness, not just for our guests here on the island, also for the staff and even for the locals. So from any island, local islands, feel free to come down here if you want to learn more about this coral project.